A man who was considered armed and dangerous is now behind bars. According to the Columbia Police Department, Javaris Blanks turned himself into investigators. Blanks was accused of firing multiple shots at his friend after an argument last week. The shooting happened along the 400 block of Greystone Boulevard near the I-126 overpass. Thankfully, no one was injured in the incident. Blanks is now being charged with attempted murder and possession of a weapon during a violent crime. Columbia police are looking for three persons of interest in connection with yesterday morning's fire at the Harbison Walmart. Police say the trio were seen getting out of an older model green SUV, possibly a Chevy Tahoe or Suburban. The fire happened around 3.30 yesterday morning. Investigators say it was intentionally set in a food aisle of the store. We're told a couple dozen employees and customers were inside but got out safely. Damage has been estimated at nearly $3 million, and because of that, the store will likely be closed for several days. If you have any information, call Crime Stoppers, one crime sc In the upstate, a centuries-old church was vandalized over the weekend, and police are looking for the people responsible. Vandals targeted Midway Presbyterian Church on Midway Road in Anderson this past weekend. Multiple stained glass windows were broken at the church, and graffiti was sprayed on the outside wall. The stained glass windows were a part of the original church construction and were more than 125 years old. A $1,000 reward is being offered for information leading to the arrest of those responsible for the crime. Now, if you think you have information that could help, you're asked to call Crime Stoppers. That number, one crime sc